Come, come inside. We've something for you from the landlord. I don't know. All I know is you have to leave this place. I borrowed only 3,000, and you want 30,000 back. I've been cheated by you. We're not interested. All we know is that we've been told to get you off this land. I beg of you. I will accept that I owe you 30,000, if you will allow me another year to pay it back. We're not interested in your groveling, damn you! Get away from this piece of land. Then you won't get hurt. I will not. Then you'll die! My friend, will you go? I will not leave my home. Phew! Why'd you hurt him? His wife is beautiful. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Tom, uh -huh. make her pay. <laughs> Don't you touch me. <laughs> uh, Sam. Oh, 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 no. <laughs> 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 She wants you.
sir, I beg of you, have mercy. Please, sir. God damn you, you filthy bastard, you tell me. Why did you go up north? Uh, to see the demonstration. You stupid bastard. You're interested in democracy? Uh, 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 tell me now, why did you go? Uh, 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 my, my leg was taken away from me. And you think that they can help you? I and Mrs. Chaw have treated you the very best that we possibly could have. You think you're full. We were always there when you needed cash. You think, and when you couldn't pay it back, we moved in. Uh, uh, please don't kill me. Wait him. Wait. <laughs> How are you, teacher? I'm fine. Mm, teacher, where have you been? I've been buying some books. Uh, are you going home? Yes. Let me take you back. Come, let's go. Thanks very much for the thought, but I think I'll go back by bus. Don't you uh, want me to take you home, teacher? Listen now, I've told you once. Do you not understand? But, teacher, I would like to be friends. Well, I do not. But then I do. Let me carry you to the bus. No! Get away! <laughs> God damn you! Do you want to die? No, you shouldn't harm women. God damn you! Richard! Richard! I'm all right. Don't worry. You wait here and watch. You can't find them alone. You man, stay right where you are. I'll fight him. Good, now I'll beat him. someday. I'm sorry for what they did to you. It doesn't matter. Richard, this is Deputy Sheriff John. Hello. My pleasure. Have you known each other long? Uh, ever since we were kids. Uh, that means you come from around this way, huh? I was born here. Do excuse me. I must go now. <laughs> Goodbye. I'll see you to your house. <laughs> Father, are you really not very hungry, or are you waiting for Richard? Your brother Richard should have been back long before now. Don't you worry. He'll be all right. If you're going to sit here all night waiting for Richard, you'll faint from hunger. <laughs> How about you? Why aren't you eating? Uh, uh, I'm not all that hungry. <laughs> so you're waiting for Richard as well. <laughs> Richard, welcome home. Oh, my dear, you look more beautiful. Than ever before. <laughs> Don't talk any more. You've come very late. Your father nearly fainted from hunger. Actually, I would have been home earlier. But something happened. I'll tell you later. Good to see you, father. 
Whatever has happened to your face? It's covered in bruises. I was fighting with some men down in the town. That sounds like my boy, but you must take it easy. I just couldn't help myself. They were annoying a woman. I had to do something. Have a glass of water, Richard. Why don't you go and take a bath? Then we can all sit down and have dinner together. <laughs> shots seem to have been coming from over around at our neighbor's farm. I think you're right. Shouldn't we go over and see what's happened? My dear, whenever there's gunfire, it means that someone has died. But what if something has happened to Kenneth? I'm worried. Maybe something has happened. I'd better go and take a look. You stay here, in case there's trouble. Please, can I come along as well? All right. Don't you worry, Father. You come back quickly. As I know, this couple had a quarrel with a gang. They were killed because they wouldn't pay up. Something must be done soon about those murdering bastards. The gang that's responsible, are they led by Mrs. Chaw? You're trying to suggest to me that Mrs. Chaw is behind all these killings? There's absolutely no way. Why do you think this is done by Mrs. Chaw, then? Because I suspect that she is behind all this. She's an obvious choice. She sells land to all these farmers. What you're saying is wrong. What would she gain by killing them? I think that many people are jealous of her popularity amongst our village people. I don't think that you're right. Why don't you think so? I think that Mrs. Chaw is a murderer. I've just come from fighting with her damn gang. They're all killers. And the sheriff is almost certainly on her payroll. I cannot agree with one single word that you've said. You hardly know her. It's unfair for you to pass judgment on someone that you don't know. Not only do I trust her, but everyone, everyone in these parts they respect her in the same way that our sheriff does. Let's not talk about Mrs. Chaw. What will you do now about those poor farmers who've been so brutally murdered? I will go into town and tell the sheriff exactly what's happened here. Good idea. You better tell the other farmers to make sure no one touches these bodies until the sheriff gets here. Listen. I'm going to get the sheriff. Make sure that no one touches these bodies. You got me? Yes. Do you think the sheriff will give a damn about them? We must report their deaths. Whether the sheriff gives a damn is his business. I will report it. You wait here. Big Bad Tom. They're all big here. 
What about the girl? Who's she? She's called Susie. She's not too bad. But you have to pay a lot of money for her services. <laughs> She's coming over. Were you talking about me? <laughs> It's good you came over. This is my friend, Richard. He, he'd like a little company. <laughs> oh, okay. Please sit. Sit down. Come on. I'd better be going. <laughs> Shall we order some drinks? After that, we could try a bit of gambling. Are you good with lady luck? Never had any luck. All you can do is try. Are you from the north? No. I was born around here. Really? Oh, you must excuse me. I'm going to get some beer. see him here. He came with Bill. Oh, damn you. You're always fighting here in my goddamn place. You're scaring all the customers. Very soon I won't have any business. We cannot help it, madam. What is Joe? We should not let him go. He suspects. He came here to fight with us. He's certainly no customer. Mm. What will you do if he regains consciousness and decides to beat your face in? Kill him. Easy to say. It's not hard. We could easily get rid of him. Be very careful. Don't make more trouble, or we'll all be caught. <laughs> Tell me now, my deputy, or I will torture you to death. I've told you before, I did not report back to headquarters. You're the only one who knows what I'm doing. When you came back from the north, I was cross-examined by the governor of this province. I tell you, I went up north on my own business, Sheriff. Did you know that I'm going to be promoted a deputy governor? Speak up. Tell me the truth. And I will spare you. I really did nothing. I'm the one who's in trouble because of you. You're all right. I won't hurt you if you would only try and cooperate. How can I do that? Just think what you stand to gain by cooperating. I will cooperate, but what about, 
What about the people of this place? Don't you worry. If they dare to cause trouble, I will have much money and power. Anyone who dares go against me, I assume wants to be killed. I'm afraid I cannot cooperate with someone who'd do such a thing. All right. Alan, see how tough he is. Beat the bastard. I want to see how long he can stay alive. <laughs> I won't ask you again to cooperate. Do you want to live or die? I was brought up with values. I will honor them. I will never cooperate with you. Never. Then there's no reason for you to live anymore. Alan! When he's dead, bury him. Sir. If you hadn't come along, they would have killed me. I was listening outside for quite some time. exercise for today. Take a break now. Go on. Sarah. Oh, Sarah. Oh. Did you hear about the deputy sheriff? Oh, you mean about him nearly being killed? Yes. How is he now? He's all right. Fortunately, Richard managed to save him in time. Otherwise, he would have been killed. How do you feel about the corrupt sheriff being killed? <laughs> he should have been shot dead long ago. <laughs> Actually, I think it would be better if he was still alive when the new sheriff comes. But why? <laughs> At least then, we would know how the new sheriff punishes people I suppose that all of them are the same. Money must be a big temptation. How well do you know the deputy sheriff? Quite well. What do you think of him? He's a nice man. But if he's like all the other policemen, I don't care. You don't? Of course I don't. What do you mean? <laughs> Nothing. Hi there. What were you saying? Uh, nothing. Uh, Catherine, the deputy sheriff, is coming to my place for dinner. Oh, Sarah, you should have told me about that earlier. Don't worry about it. I've already bought all the food. We'll all enjoy cooking together. What did you buy for us to eat? A lot. Pork and duck and vegetables. You'll see. Sounds lovely. We can cook it how we like. Have you told Richard to come yet? I haven't had the chance. It's late. I'd better get my things. All right. Kenneth, you must run in the local elections. You could help the people around here a hell of a lot. I'm not so sure. I'm not that bright. You are, really. You have a diploma. That's true. But I have no money. And no reputation. No one in this area. It's better for the job. Especially not Mrs. Chaw. I insist she isn't a bad person. What's wrong with her? 
Huh? You tell me what's right with her. You're talking rubbish. Mrs. Chaw can win those elections because she has friends. And she is well loved by all the people here. Yeah, she's kind. But she hires all those thugs. Ah. Oh. She's a woman. She needs to have some kind of protection. Oh, don't give me that. Kenneth, let's not talk about who's good or bad. Hey, my friend, we should talk about more practical matters. I'm sure you want to give your land to your sons. Right, you know that. Every man wants that. So, then you must run in the elections. I don't understand. You must. Understand that. You love my sister. Richard, you are... Uh... It's all right. I know that you're in love. To marry my sister, you must run. <laughs> all right. I'll run. Mm, good, my friend. Why don't you stand for election? I have some reasons of my own. You'd better start planning your election campaign. We must try and get everyone who owes us money to repay us right away. If they are people who are going to vote for me, then they needn't pay us. The deputy sheriff, what should we do? Must you wait, but watch him. The deputy sheriff is no longer with us anymore. How the hell can he afford to be against us? That deputy, in what way could he harm us? You never know. That deputy has now been made acting sheriff. Yes, you're right. I'm a farmer, just like everyone else around here. I was born in a town in this province. I'm in exactly the same situation as everyone. Lately, we've been shocked by the way some of our friends and neighbors have been murdered by desperate gangs. And I'm disgusted that most of these gangs are being allowed to get away. And why is this being allowed to happen? I can only guess why. It must be because our present administration is thoroughly corrupt. And that is why. And that is why we need a change. The people have been taken advantage of for far too long. We must start standing up for our own rights. You all know that money is needed. I can get that for you if I'm elected to Parliament. Think a while. Which one is the better for you to cast a vote for? Come here. Come and have a drink. There's no point in keeping guard. Relax. Now, doesn't that feel better? I'd better get back. I shouldn't be drinking. What are you worried about? Nobody's going to be coming round here. I'm not scared of people coming. It's a chief I'm worried about. No, nobody's coming around here. Only Alan. He went to get something to eat. Damn Alan. Why hasn't he come back? I bet you he's gone and fallen down. <laughs> How many people are in the hut? Which hut? Which hut are you going to? Tell me. We haven't got all night. I don't know what you're talking about. Listen, if you tell me, I'll let you go. Oh. <coughs> Richard! Richard! Richard, I've been looking for you. I was afraid that you and Kenneth would be harmed by those murderers. I... Bill. You should not have come here. Huh. Where'd they go? Over there.
Why the hell hasn't he come back? We could all starve. Alan's just selfish. He's got a new wife. He's probably in bed with her at this very moment. Sometimes. I could kill that bastard he's so selfish. Maybe I will. Listen. Someone's coming. Someone is coming. Maybe it's Alan. He got fed up with his wife. Why'd you come back so late? Give me the food. Hold it. Bring it up, everybody. Get out. Have you got a weapon? No. No, I haven't. I got nothing. Well, you wait here. I'm going to help Richard. What's your plan going to be, Richard? Kenneth, you hold him. I'll go round. Kenneth, is Bill all right? He's back there, hiding in the bushes. Okay, good luck. You better get out. There's a bomb inside. You can see that Susie's report was correct. Yes, it must be. But I still can't believe Mrs. Chaw's involved. You have a way with women. Maybe you can get her to tell me. Mm. Don't be stupid. Susie risked her neck for this information. It's a pity, though. You still don't believe me. Did you ever told you, tell you that definitely that man, Richard, Kenneth, and that deputy sheriff will bring the police to our place? I'm sure. They were overheard. I have no idea. There was a spy in our midst. It might be any one of you. We must find out who the hell it is. I think that it's someone who's close to all of us. Someone who's very clever. You're very right. Someone we know is behind all our troubles. We've been given the chance of finding a spy. We should take that chance and make the very best of it that we can. First of all, we must try to get rid of every one of our damned enemies. All right. Who is going to be responsible for doing it? I'll do it. I'll kill him. I'll start tonight. That bastard Richard is dead. <laughs> if you're sure you'll kill him, then you've my permission, all right. Don't you make a mess. Just kill that bastard. Oh. Oh, please sit down. Huh. A girl when 
she scared is lovely. I'm not scared with you. Did you miss me? Of course not. Who do you miss more than me? I don't think anyone. I know what you miss the most. I have work to do. Wait. Where are you going? Don't you want me? You know that I love you. What are you trying to do to me? I... I just want to be closer. I love you very much. Richard, please don't. Please don't do that. I shouldn't have brought you out on a night like this. It's all right, don't blame yourself. We'd better go and find shelter. Hey, look over there. We can shelter in there. Come on. Oh, God, you're all white. But it's all your fault. What can I say? <laughs> What's that? I told you to go back, but you wouldn't listen. Ah, oh, how could I know there was going to be a storm? We had to take shelter in here. We might have been hit by lightning. I'm scared of it. Even in here. <laughs> Don't be scared. I'm here with you. I'm afraid if it continues to rain very heavily, this place might flood. <laughs> Don't you worry. It's safe here. Are you cold? Yes, I am. Take off your blouse, so it'll dry. I'm also very cold. Ah. Will you take it off? Or should I do it for you? Oh, no. Please. Why don't you turn your back? And close your eyes. Yes, ma'am. Put it on, or else you'll get pneumonia. I'd better be going home. No, uh, you can't go yet. Why not? I told you, Richard, that we came back so late because of the rain. Don't you believe what I told you? That's all right. What's the matter? Your duty. All right. Tomorrow, I will take her to buy a wedding ring, and then we will fix a marriage date. But I think it should be as soon as possible. You're mad. I was talking about your election. Oh, 
Now I see what you mean. Now listen. Mrs. Chaw is all out for victory. What she's doing doesn't worry me. Don't say that. You must win the fight. Mm. But you're the one who made me do it. I wanted my sister to marry someone important. But what happens if I lose that election? You must be elected. You must beat her. You stand a good chance of winning. You have a lot of people behind you. I don't think I'll get a high percentage of the votes. Don't you worry. You stand an excellent chance. The important thing is that if you win the election, then you don't forget your hometown. If he forgets us, I'll remind him. You can talk about that later. My son, you take this to protect yourself against Chaw. She'll stop at nothing to get you. Unconscious. Uh, Phil, do you know who did this? Damn, those men were from the gang of the bitch, Mrs. Chaw. Are you sure, Bill? Yes, of course. I saw them before. They knocked me unconscious and dragged me in here, the filthy bastards. Oh. Now do you believe me? that Mrs. Chaw is behind all this damn mess. There is no proof that she is to blame. If I was with her gang, then I would protect her. But can you please tell me what that's got to do with her? It's quite simple. Mrs. Chaw is trying to get rid of all her enemies. Bill, do you think you can move? to be killed. You're upset. Of course so. They've killed my father. And I must avenge his death for him. I must kill every one of them. They're bastards. They have to die. You stay here. I'm going to get them now. Are you mad? You must think before you act. Don't forget what you're doing and who you are. Are you listening? You've no idea how much my father meant to me. I know, but there's no use in trying to get them now because we cannot really know for sure who is behind all this. Can you say that you know? What can I do then? Now that father's dead. I'm going to tell the deputy sheriff. Is that okay? Stay 
with me? Yes, all right. Richard asked me to keep you company. Thank you. Now, Kathy, I don't have anyone. Since Father was murdered, there hasn't really been anyone for me to talk to. You're still much better off than I ever was. My dear, you are lucky. My parents were killed when I was a girl. Luckily, I had relatives who could afford to bring me up. But what if they'd had no money? Could it be that the people who killed your parents are the same ones that killed my father? There's no way of us telling. But if it wasn't Mrs. Chaw, then who? You said that you'd kill him, but instead you ask someone else. Are you a man? Or are you worse than a coward? Can't any of you do anything at all? You idiots. Sometimes I think you're all half-wits. Damn you idiots. Please, boss. I was told that all the bullets were fired from the gun. Oh! I don't care. <clears throat> that bastard Richard and Kenneth are still alive. I'll be run by you fools! You bastards! The lot of you! Madam, the deputy sheriff and some people are waiting outside. Hmm. Good. Well then, I said they'd come. Why are you still standing there? Do you want them to arrest you? You come with me. Susie as well. Hmm. Now, you go and see them. Tell them I'm not here. Right. Come on. I'll go alone. You wait here. Mm. Mm. Good day, sir. I want to go inside. What's wrong, Sheriff? Richard insists that the man that killed his father is hiding in your bar. What's the name of that man? We don't know that. Ah, uh -huh. well then, how can you identify this man? Let's stop all this talk and go in. Hey, hey, hey. Search warrant? Would you let me go inside by myself? Would that be all right with you? Mm. All right. Let's go in. Come this way. Come on. to do with this, Richard. <laughs> Where are you going? Into my bar. I feel very sorry for what has happened. Hmm. I'll make you sorry again. I shall see to it somehow that the public finds out that you are more fit for damn well organizing murders than going to Parliament. 
Come on, let's go. We were challenged by them. I couldn't care less. We must get rid of them, or we're dead. They will be dead, and not us. When we get married, dear, I'll expand our property, and then I will divide it into plots. Why will you divide it? Uh, to give plots to our children. <laughs> Silly. When we get married, I want a very big wedding. Afterwards, I don't think I want to have children. <laughs> don't you love me enough to have my children? <laughs> I'm afraid that once we have children, we won't have time to go anywhere. You're a handsome man. You'll find another woman. Won't you, my darling? I promise you, my dear, you are the only woman who I will ever love. I'll do anything to make you happy. I shall build a beautiful garden where our children can play and we'll both be so very happy. What do you think of our future, my dear? It's nice. And what will you do in the garden? I think I'll grow vegetables, keep pigs, ducks, hens. May I ask you something? What do you want from me? I've given you my love. I will not feed the ducks, pigs and hens. Are you afraid they will do something on your shoes? Silly. You always take things the wrong way. I don't like their smell. <laughs> then it's all right. <laughs> We shall be the happiest couple in the world. Uh, um, not now. There'll be plenty of time for that later on. But I love you. <laughs> if you really love me, then you... Remember, you promised to do something today. Oh. <laughs> the wedding ring. <laughs> Let's go and get it now. <laughs>
myself. I'll kill all of them. They'll not get you away from me. God damn. Damn. Damn you bastards. Uh, I'll kill you all. You filthy bastards. You must die. <laughs> kill it. Kenneth. Then she'll go and get her morning clothes. Ah. You're here. I have something to tell you. What do you want here? Hey, where's the other girl gone? She's out. Why not wait? No, thanks. We don't have much time. I've come to get you to sign this letter for me. I owe you. Why, Pa? I borrowed 3,000 from Mrs. Chaw. But it says right here that you owe her over 30,000. You'd better sign now. I will not. But you must sign. I will not. <laughs> Are you going to sign? Let him go. Will you sign or not? I won't sign. Even if you're going to kill me. God damn you! Uh-huh. <laughs> 
this. This is Charles Gang. Murdered him. Poor father. Paul, fetch the deputy sheriff. Yes. Those damn bastards, they must die. Richard, that we were running a land racket here in this province? Huh? Susie! What's that? Speak, Susie! I... 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 Susie, my dear, if you're feeling pain, then tell me! I... I don't know anything. How can we make her tell us that she is a spy? <laughs> There's no way. Mrs. Shaw, you already know that she's the one who is the spy. I just wanted to say it. There's one way. She would talk if we raped her until she dies. Were you listening? Did you hear what he just said, Susie? Huh? I don't know anything. I don't know anything at all. God damn you! You damn well better tell me! When she comes around, you rape her until she dies. Where the hell's Tom got to? He's outside. <laughs> Tom's an idiot. That girl Sarah's still alive. She'll go to the police. That's trouble. We could all of us end up in prison. I've always said that all witnesses should be killed. You can understand that. Can't you? Do you remember the case of that couple? The ones that you burned? But that was 20 years ago. Yes. You killed Peter. Raped his wife. Killed his son. But you let the daughter escape. I will give you a good example of what might happen because of your mercy. What's the point of bringing that up? Hmm. What would happen? If that girl remembers you, we'd all end up in the slammer. <sighs> now you solve that doll problem. That girl Sarah will tell that damn deputy sheriff. Why don't we kill her? What, now? They could already know everything.
What are you doing here? <laughs> Why did you come here, dear? If I hadn't come, I wouldn't have known that your men, damn them, killed my family, my father, mother, and kid brother. Mrs. Chaw, your men, all of you are bastards. You killed my family. God damn you! Stop it! Calm down. Are you Peter's daughter? Yes, I am. I'm that girl. Damn it! Treat the bitch as you treated our whore of a mother. Come on. <laughs> now she will know exactly how her mother felt, won't you, my dear? Someone is attacking the bar. Who dare? Kenneth. Kenneth? You go and fight with him. I'll wait here. Come on. Come on.
DJ! <gasps> <laughs> All your bullets, am I right, my dear? Stay there now. You will die if you kill me. True. But then what have I got to lose? I have killed so many people that one more doesn't matter. Give me! Quick! I'm all right. <laughs> I'm all right. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to thank you. Uh, there's no need to. It must have been you who helped me a, a minute ago. Well, maybe. <laughs> then everything's all right. Oh. Oh. Are you hurt badly? Uh, I may have sprained it. Put your arm around me. All right. You know that? I love you. I always will do. You are a silly man. I... I can't help it. I love you so much. My dear, I want to tell you something. And what is that? I tell you what. I'll tell you later. Where's the sheriff? Over there. Richard's the new sheriff. So he's the new sheriff. Well then. Hey, Richard! Oh, oh, oh. 